Hello everyone, today I will be testing the System Sensor P2R horn strobe. Yes, it's the Spectre Alert Advance. We've seen it a million times before. May not be the most exciting thing in the world, but I'll try my best to make it as interesting as I can. Now the interesting thing about this alarm here, let me just pull it off the mounting plate. As we can see here, you mount this thing to the wall first, wire everything up, then, you mount the alarm itself onto the plate. Mind you, this is on the wall. This is just my uh, testing area. And then, obviously, you screw that screw in down there. Now comes the fun part, testing the alarm itself. I have it set on temporal low volume. It shouldn't be too bad because I have hearing protection on. So, without further ado, here we go. Three... Two, one. Let's lights off. Let's end that. I think I'm driving everyone nuts by now. Okay, now to activate the alarm, we're going to use the uh, BG-12. Yes, we've seen this combo a thousand times before, in like almost every new building we walk into, pretty much. Well, usually what I do with my fire alarm tests, if you've been following my alarm tests for a while, I try to match up a pole station with a certain alarm, like where you would probably find a certain combo of alarm or whatnot. Well, that's what I'm doing here, so. Anyways, let's get on with the test. Three, two, one. Let's reset By the way, this is the uh, newer version from the uh, Honeywell buyout. Alright, I promised I would make this video a little bit more interesting, so this is what I've done. I haven't showed this pull station yet, but it's the uh, FCI rebranded Kid B5, this guy right here. So, without further ado, Let's lift and pull. This thing doesn't stand up very well. But yeah, it's clear, it's activated. I'm gonna reset this quick. As you can see here, model B5, let's see, you probably can't see it in this light, there we go, kid, B5, yeah, there we go, and it takes this hex key to uh, lock it, pretty much. So, well, that does it for the System Sensor P2R, or Spectral or Advance, if you guys want to say that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and that's going to be it.